Just found out my wife cheated after 21 years of marriage. Don't know what to do next. Wow, I am just sick and haven't slept in three days. Please bear with me. I don't really post anything on social media. Me, 48 am, and my wife, 46 f, have been married 21 years, together 23 years, and have a 22 yo son. We have been having some problems for the past year or so, and there has been very little intimacy or affection from her for the past few months. Unfortunately, I travel often for work, but I've really tried to make things better lately and have taken time off and been making extra effort to engage her, give her back rubs, hugs, and affection, but she just became more and more distant, culminating in her straight up turning me down the last couple of times I tried to initiate. She has never, ever turned me down for any intimacy in the first 20 years we're married. I've also been suspicious because she never puts her phone down and is super secretive with it. I finally worked up the nerve to check the phone bill in low, and behold, she's been calling and texting some numbers I don't recognize. There are one thousands of texts going back to last year, at all hours of the day, even on holidays. After seeing this, I obviously knew something was going on, so I sat her down and confronted her about it. She said it was only an emotional affair, and they had not been physical at all, just chats and flirting. This guy comes into her workplace regularly, but I have never met him. I was devastated but knew there was more going on, so I did some digging. It seems he is using multiple phone numbers to do this, but after some serious investigating, I found his name, social media, where he works, asked veterinarian, and some other details. After a couple of days, I confronted her with all I had found out. She denied, denied, and denied at first until I threatened to go public. She finally admitted it was a physical affair and had been going on for quite some time, at least six months. She claimed she was only physical with him one time, but conveniently couldn't remember when it happened when I pressed her for details on when it occurred. Right. After her gaslighting and lying to me for so long, I obviously don't believe it's only happened one time. Holy crap, what a chump I've been. This is definitely a deal breaker for me. We had what I thought was a great marriage until recently, but who knows how long she has been screwing around. At first we had agreed to separate and work on ourselves, but once she admitted to having sex with him when confronted a couple days later, I told her we need to divorce. We have no minor children and no major assets. She's had major medical issues. We sold everything we had worked hard for to pay for doctors and treatment. So the divorce process is fairly simple here. She has agreed to move out this coming week and wants to move in with a single friend who has kids and crash on her couch. WTF. She claims the new guy has four roommates, so she won't be staying with him, but I just don't trust anything she says now. I just don't know what to do next. The hurt and betrayal has me seriously messed up, as we have been together virtually all of our adult lives. I'm really grieving the marriage, and at first thought we might be able to work through it, but there's just no coming back from this. I'm super close with my son, and he knows she's been cheating and is disgusted, but he obviously still loves his mom. Here's where I could really use some advice. I really have a strong urge to blow this up and let our family and friends know exactly why we are splitting up. She is terrified I will make everything public and begged me not to go public because it could ruin his life and he's a good guy, except for destroying marriages in his free time. I know where he works and have half a mind to let people in his life know what's going on because he has absolutely destroyed my marriage and my life. My son wants me to just end things with her and not blow this up. He says I will be stooping to their level if I go public about them cheating. But this has broken my heart as well as our marriage, and I'm just getting more and more angry. Should I go public and out them? Anyone have any advice on how I should go about this, or any resources that could help me work through this? How can I ever trust again? Sorry for the long, rambling post. I am feeling pretty out of it, TBH. Thanks in advance. Edit. Thanks so much to everyone that offered support and advice. My son is my number one priority right now. He also recently broke it off with his first love, who cheated, so the timing of this really sucks. I want to respect his wishes, but have decided I am at minimum I will be telling our close friends and family, which will upset my son. But after this betrayal, I'm not going to give her a chance to just hide her actions and sweep it all under the rug. I also feel like I need to out my wife so I can maintain some self-respect, and that it's a lesson I hope my son learns also. Nothing he or I did justified this betrayal of our family. 
I asked her to please just pack her stuff and go. She agreed and will be out today. Also wanted to add we are just filing a joint petition for divorce. We have no assets, just some medical debt, and we will be splitting that so there's nothing else to really fight over. No alimony, no child support. I have the signed and notarized divorce paperwork and will be filing on Monday. Edit hash two, after receiving some nasty PMs. I kicked her out of the house six days ago and have told both our families and friends. She is supposedly staying on her friend's couch and using her address. Doesn't really matter to me anymore. I am now focusing on myself and my immediate family. I'm moving to a new apartment in 10 days and am not leaving a forwarding address. If I personally confront the guy, there's a good chance I'll end up in jail, so our focus is now on the future. Thanks again to everyone who posted or messaged me kind and supportive words.